Today, I'm going to be showing you a tool called Autogen. It's released by Microsoft. Really neat tool. It's a framework that allows you to configure all of these really cool like mini uh, AI bots. So think of them as like a little army of workers. You configure them and they talk to each other. Uh, they allow you as a user, like a proxy, you as a user to interface to them, to intervene and to uh, answer questions if needs be. My goal in the video is to show you how I used Autogen to actually create this script called Airbnb Search. What it does is it goes out and searches Airbnb and then brings me back the data so I can see the prices and the listings. Let's get started. First, let me bring you here to the Autogen, some of the documentation. What's really great about this documentation, it shows you some different configurations and how you can set up your little uh, mini bots. They call them agents, I like to call them bots. If you come down here to this one, here is a configuration that we're going to actually play with today. So there's a user proxy. That's really just a fancy word of saying a bot that can uh, interact on behalf of yourself, can answer questions and do things. That's where you have the human here. And then we set up a little assistant bot. And with that, thing, we're going to give that thing a job, and then it's going to actually do the job. And you can see here in this example, the human asked, uh, please do this job. And then the bot responds, uh, got an error in the code. It tries to install some stuff. And then it writes the code correctly, and then finally you get the answer. So in our scenario, we're going to be doing a user proxy and then an assistant. Here are the notebooks in the project, and you can just follow these notebooks right along. So there's all a bunch of examples, uh, group chat, uh, human feedback, planning. I think there's a chess game as well. So a lot of great examples here of how to set things up. First thing we need to do is pip install Autogen. The first thing that we need to do is actually create a file called oai underscore config underscore list. And inside of that, we're going to have an open and close. This is going to be a list. And our, what we're going to do is put in here, this is valid JSON. We're going to put what model we're going to use. In this scenario, we're going to put GPT 3.5. You could use whatever model you wanted. And then your API key. The idea here is that you could have a list of different models and that your Autogen could actually use. So each bot could have its own model. Our main file will then read in our config so that we can use the models. First thing that we're going to do is actually call this autogen.config list from JSON, which is going to read in the file that we just created. That is our config file. Next, we're going to set up an LLM config. So it's going to set all the parameters for our LLMs. In this scenario, the request timeout 600, the seed is 44. That has to do with uh, respect to the caching and reproducibility. The config list is the config list that we've just defined here. And then the temperature is zero for sampling, and we don't want it to go off the rails. Now we're going to define our first bot. This is We're going to call this agent underscore assistant. And this is the assistant agent. We're going to give it a name, agent assistant. And then with respect to its LLM config, we're just giving it the LLM config that we had just set up. Now we're going to set up our actual second uh, little bot. This We're going to call this thing the agent proxy. And it's essentially a user agent that is that works on behalf of you. So you can interfere, you cannot interfere. The first setting here is set, we give it a name, agent proxy. And then here is human input mode, never. There's other modes as well, terminate or always. Always means that you would have to always give a response as a human, so it'll prompt you for what to do next. Never means, hey, never bother the human. And terminate means human input is needed when the assistant sends the terminate signal. Max consecutive auto reply, we've said 10. Here's a Lambda setup, which just looks for the terminate keyword coming from the assistant. We're going to set up the code execution config. So it gets a working directory, and you can see that here. It's going to put the working, this is where the output of the bots are going to be in the agent output. And then use Docker means, uh, I'm putting it as false. This would be if you wanted to use a Docker image of, let's say, a certain Python version, and we don't want it to do that, so that's false. Remember, it's got an LLM config, just like this one did. We're setting it to the same config. This could be a different config if you wanted. And then the system message is, hey, reply terminate if the task has been solved at full satisfaction. Otherwise, reply continue, or the reason why you can't, you can't keep going. These are our two bots. Okay, once we set the bots up, now we need to kick it off. We need to tell it to get started. So we're going to use this agent uh, proxy.initiate chat. So the proxy is initiating, that's us, on our behalf. And then we, it's going to be talking to the agent assistant, right, the other bot. 
And the message is his, hey, I need you to write a Python script that will do the following. Number one, go to Airbnb. Number two, search for an Austin, Texas stay from this date. Number three, gather the results, no more than 10. And the class HTML uh, div is going to be this div. And then print that result to the screen. Now you may be wondering, where in the world did this come from? Let me show you that. Okay, so this is Airbnb. We need to right click here and do inspect because we need to look at the actual HTML. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, once I hit inspect, I'm gonna come over here and click this. And once we highlight this, we can click, we can scroll up over here and we can see that this entire class is actually this crazy C4 MDN7 dir dir dash LTR. That's what we have to really tell Autogen, otherwise it doesn't know what tag to look for. And then after it's done that task, we're gonna tell it one more thing, hey, and then we use a send here and we don't use initiate and we say, hey, agent assistant, I need you to now please save this, the Python script that you wrote to a file. And now let's watch it work. And let me show you the output here. So we've got agent proxy. This message is being sent to the assistant. Remember the, the agent proxy is us. And here are the instructions. The agent assistant says, yep, okay, let me write that file for you. It sends it back to the proxy. Hits terminate so it completed. And then the next one, agent proxy says, hey, please save the file to that location. And there's the file and then terminate again. So it did complete. And here is the code that it did write for us. So here's the Airbnb search. Here is the using beautiful soup and let's see if it works. And there you go, it did the search. Here are the results. You can see the, the prices and the places. So that wraps it up. As you can see, you can really, like the sky is wide open of ways you can use Autogen to build tooling for you to search and, and grab data from really any kind of website. If you do enjoy this video or any other videos on my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, like and subscribe. Subscribe so you can get the latest uh, content that I'm producing. And then also, if you do subscribe and leave me a note that you did, I'm more than happy to, to respond back in a personal message saying thank you. So I'd really appreciate it.